Hey everybody, it's Jazz Beauty, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have a pretty special video. I've been wanting to make this video for a few, a big, a lot, a lot of months now, and I just keep putting it off and putting it off. And today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So today I'm going to be giving you guys the story time of when I met Madison Beer at her life support tour in Boston. I want to give you all the details on everything that I went through my experience. I just want to give you some tips if you're seeing her in her upcoming European shows for the life support tour. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be going all the way back with like the whole story, getting the tickets, the wait uh, for the months and months that I had to wait up until my show. So yeah, so let's go all the way back to May, I think May 2021, I don't have the exact date. Madison Beer announced her life support tour and I was like, I need to go to this. I, I want to meet her so bad. She announced all her angry packages and stuff. And I thought you had to get a pre-sale for even the meet and greet, but it was only a pre-sale code for regular general admission tickets. So one night I just went on Live Nation, which is where the tickets were being sold, and just wanted to see what the prices were gonna be like so I knew what to expect. And when I went on there, I clicked on the meet and greet option and it literally was like add to cart and I was like, okay. And I was expecting to have to put in some code, but I went through the whole checkout process and it was so easy and I, I got the tickets and I was like, oh, I'm eating Madison beer. So that was a pretty weird experience for getting tickets. That has never happened. I thought I would have to go through this whole fight war for meeting your tickets, but I didn't. And it was really, really easy. So thank you, Madison, for that. Fast forward months and months of waiting and the anticipation building up, up to October, just when the tour started. And when the tour actually started, since mine was like the fifth show, I wanted to be completely surprised for the show. I didn't want to see any videos, photos, or anything. I literally blocked Madison on Instagram and blocked fan accounts that I followed of Madison to make sure I see, saw nothing. I ended up seeing a few photos just because on TikTok, on my For You page, I really could have control that, but I made sure to scroll past it. And I really saw like none of the show. I only saw just a few photos and what like one of her outfits looked like. So there was that. Roll around, we come to October 25th. So October 25th was a really, really hectic day because I was also taking my permit test that day and I woke up early because I had my permit test. So we went, we tried to go take my permit test, but because I forgot my glasses, I could, I failed the eye test. So I couldn't even take that that day. And I was so stressed out. I was like, I need to get to the line. I wanted to get there early as possible and to make sure I was getting barricaded. I really want a barricade. For Madison Beer, you might think you have to arrive super, super early, but I, at least for my show at the Boston show, I ended up arriving to the House of Blues, which is where she was performing at, I think around 11 a.m. And I was like the sixth or fifth person in line, which is pretty insane. So like for Madison Beer, I would just see on Twitter like, uh, what I did on Twitter is I just searched up Life Support Tour Boston and I found a, a group of people who put me in this group chat of other people who were also going to the show and I just figured out what is a good time to get to the show and it was, it was a perfect time. Like not that many people showed up until around like 3 p.m. Like there was only like... I think maybe 20 people showed up and then at 3 p.m. it started getting a little more and it became more of a bigger line. The wait was honestly the hardest part. Like, it wasn't hard, it was just sitting. It was also, that day, it was like, it wasn't raining, like pouring raining, but it was all, it was cold. It was like musky, it was really, it was like cold drizzle rain and just was really uncomfortable. So waiting there from, 11 a.m. to I think around 4 30 p.m. It got a little difficult, but you find ways to deal with it and also what I brought to The show is I put everything in this sweetener tour clear bag and also this is just a bunch of confetti from other shows I always collect my confetti in here. What I brought was I brought lotion I brought a snack and a sandwich that I ate while I was waiting there. I just brought a bunch of stuff that would keep me alive but one thing I do recommend is I do recommend bringing a battery pack because I did have my charging my charger phone case like one of those phone cases that also turns your phone while it's in there and I still got really low battery like I really could have benefited from a battery pack so I really recommend a battery pack if you are going to be waiting in line for a long time even if you have like a charging phone case 
Anyways, that's that. And then now let's get to where things start getting a little more exciting. So 3.30 p.m. arrives, like around then, I think. I don't really remember the exact times when everything happened. And we know they started putting up this like, not ba like barricade line, like an actual like formal line, because before that we were all just kind of standing like on a wall lined up down the street. They started setting up like the place where the formal line would go. And then they separated meet and greet uh, and just normal general admission into these two lines with the barricades and they started checking the meet and greet people in. And when they checked us in, we got our lanyards. This is what the meet and greet lanyard looks like. It's the same on both sides. So pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we were waiting there for a while and that was like kind of annoying. It took like them a while. It kept going over time and over time. And it was all just because um, some girl passed out from dehydration, which like, I totally understand. It's just we were like, I totally understand why they had to keep um, delay us going in, but it just got a lot because I was like, we've been waiting out here all day. I just want to get inside and feel my feet, my hands again, because at that point I was actually completely numb from the cold. <laughs> so then they start allowing the meet and greet people to walk in. They start scanning our tickets and stuff like that. And after they scanned our tickets, they gave us these little backpacks, which I actually have no idea where mine is and it's kind of annoying but they gave us these little backpacks and inside had a life support tour journal and it has this little pen that comes along with it. We will get into more about this later. So then they took us upstairs to the House of Blues to this little like lounge area. I'll try to find a picture of it online. It was really dark and weird, but it was also really cool, I guess. It was, it was really, really nice, honestly. It was a cool room and we just stood there for a little bit and then after a bit they explained like the rules of the meet and greet like what was gonna happen in the meet and greet all that jazz and then Madison Beer actually came up on this elevator and said hello to all us before she went back to the meet and greet room I'll, I have a video of that and I will put it right here oh my god oh my god <laughs> and then the meet and greet started and I was like again like the six person line so I had to wait just a little bit but then once it was my turn I brought a letter to give to Madison and I put it on uh, this little gift table I don't even know if she's read it but maybe she has but I put it on this little gift table and so that was cute and then you put all your stuff down like all your stuff down so you go in there like empty-handed but what I did is if you want to get a voice memo or like recording of your meet and greet just put, they don't take your phones or anything, so just put voice memos on, put it in your pocket, hidden away in some way. I had it in, yeah, I had it like in my pocket so no one could see it. So it's been like actual hours since I started recording this because as I was recording, my camera battery died. So I don't really have any idea where I left off, but I'm gonna try to remember. I think I was at the part where I went in to meet her. So let's get into that. Then I walked right in to the meet and greet and I saw her and she said hi. And it was, she, I, I loved her hug. Oh my God, I loved hugging her. So I, it was amazing. So I walked in, then we said a few other things. I'm gonna put in a few clips of the meet and greet voice memo that I took in right now. I'm not gonna put the whole thing because it's a little personal in some parts. So I'm gonna put in a few little bits and pieces right now. Hi. Okay, so you already know there's an awkward. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's do our photo. Thank you again for being here. It means so much to me. Love, one, two. One more, one, two. Amazing, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. So it was actually amazing. She said my eyes were pretty, so yeah. And she also, she signs all of the life support for notebooks in the meet and greet. So I can show you guys what she put in mine. 
first she put her signature and then she said, uh, I love you so much, Jasper, you're the best. And I just, I love her. She's amazing. And I've been writing in this notebook. I've been using it just at home. Can this like, okay. I've been using it at home. It's, I love this notebook so much. And so that was that. That was amazing. Uh, it was actually, it was the best meet and greet. I've done four meet and greets with celebrities. I've done Colleen Ballinger, Ariana, Sabrina Carpenter, and now Madison. And Madison, honestly, it was the best experience I've had with me. Green, not saying I don't love the other ones. I was just saying it was such a, it was such an amazing. She made it feel so. She was like so connected during the meet and greet. Uh, it wasn't 30 seconds. Like it was actually like the longest meet and greet I think I've done. So it was amazing. And yeah. So. So we hugged one more time, said goodbye, and she said she would see me at the show, obviously. And I walked out, got my stuff, and then I walked through that room again that I was in before uh, into this other area, which there was like a door that would lead to the actual venue, but we weren't going through yet, so we were just sitting in this weird room, like all of us that were, and we just talked about our experience and the, how our meeting we went, and we could actually hear the opener, Audrey, um, sound checking, which was pretty cool. She was sound checking Titanium. I don't have any footage of it, but that's what happened. So yeah, and then we had the infamous walk to the barricade where they opened the door and all of us just walked to the barricade. It was pretty, it was, everyone was calm. We all stayed in the same line we were in, the, in before. We walked nice and slowly and I got center barricade, like right center barricade. And that's what I wanted so bad and I'm so happy I have it. I'll put a picture of my view right now. It was, I was so happy once I got to that barricade. It was like a whole sigh of relief. So that's what that happened. And since we were the first like five people to do the meet and greet, there was still, I think there was like a hundred people doing like meet and greet. So we had a good while, not a good while, but a little bit that we had to wait for everyone to do the meet and greet for the soundtrack to actually start. So then the soundtrack, so then after all the meeting was done, she came down and she onto the stage and we did uh, the Q&A session, which I have the entire Q&A on a voice memo. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of it here because I'm obviously not gonna put the whole thing. It was like 20 minutes long. So she answered a bunch of our questions. It was so it was so nice just to see her like right there, just like talking to us, having like a normal conversation. It felt like, it felt just so normal, if that makes any sense. So then, the Q&A was finished and she left the stage and then all of the GA was let in, everyone started to get let in and we were sitting there for so long. Like I was actually about to pass out, like I was so tired, my feet were hurting, we were just standing there and we had to wait so long for the first opener to go on because there was two openers, there was Audrey, Maggie, Linda, ben, and we had to wait so long and the, the bass, they had like music playing before the opener and the bass was just so, so much. Like it was way, I could feel it and it just, it wasn't, that was like the most unpleasant part of the, of the experience was the wait between after the Q&A going to the opener. It was just so, it was not it. But then Audrey finally came on. She did her set, she was pretty good. And then we went to Maggie Lindemann, which I love Maggie Lindemann, so her set was really good. And then we had to wait for Madison. And when Madison came on, like I had no idea what was in store because I'd never seen a video picture of the show at all. So when I saw like that intro and just everything happened before my eyes, it was like so surreal. It was amazing. And the whole show was put together so well. It was so good. And I'm just, I'm so proud of her for putting on that show because that was, that was actually spectacular. Uh, but yeah, that's basically my whole entire experience. During the last song, I picked up some of the confetti. I always pick up confetti at all the shows. This is like five shows of confetti mixed together, or two actually. So, okay, I'm gonna... This is the confetti from her show. This is from a different show. This is from Billie Eilish. <laughs> so, yeah. And now I'm gonna put in a few little videos and clips of my show, the, the videos that I took at the show, and yeah. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. The rest of this video is just going to be a few clips that I got from the show. So thank you guys so much for this video. Please like, subscribe, follow all my social media, do all that. And I will see you guys in the next one. And enjoy these little clips. Bye.